12 days in Taiwan. In the rave party that is Taiwan, they do not reject you, leave you undisturbed as you observe from the platform over the stage. Why are we here at this rave party? Why do we throng here if not for a brief glimpse of some excitement? Why subject ourselves to the assault, not only to live in the senses? Pay your bills, kill brain cells, politely say, I can't wait until tomorrow to feck you and act like you mean it. At least now you know your street value, $10,000. NT dollars. The red and halls filled with people and silhouettes of people mixed together. The lights flash, a copy machine flash in your face, suspending the moment. The smoke at the top of the scene drains the blood of all oxygen. Your breasts are starting to hang out a wee bit. We're having a good time at a rave party. They play for you here. Surprising, you can enter and not affect the crowd. Instead, they let you pass among them, unobserved, while making your unobserved unobservations you're overwhelmed at the privilege of it all thankful to be around to see the end of it all to be one of the last ones of all time the last rave party on earth a place where we get to choke on our own soil, our soul made toxic by our own hands, the waste, our dump land. Sure, it's like a cartoon of a war zone. One kind, one species overruns the planet, an unchecked predator exploding in growth dies a famine, Feels like the one cannot stop the momentum of the whole that is destined to implode. While we live our lives surrounded by neon lamps, patent leather and red napkins, deep in our foxholes, there's a smoke in your hand that you move your head to avoid. There are more packs of smoke behind the glass. You stick to the bar, affixed to the corner, where it's safe, in the bomb shelter that is the world. And if you are one of the lucky ones, you may just live long enough to see the climax, the end of the end like some global freak show. Who knew we would live to see the end of the world? In here where they have toilet seats, lock the door. Let them think we're doing drugs. And then things will get better. Only then will we find some peace for a little while, at least. Is that a beat or a rhythm to my heartbeat? Is that a rhythm or a beat that becomes your heartbeat? Phil looks all lost out there on the floor. Freaky diem. And what is that man carrying in his hands? A boy yawns. Use the airspace to get higher, so you're closer to heaven. I don't think I can get any higher, but I can certainly try. 
could he have given you some poison? You am, your heart thumping. Is that your chest and your heart? Or are you just thumping? Don't know why, but you're consuming as we speak. And so am I. Shall we dance? Why do we dance? We dance, calling on the gods, waiting for our survival to happen. We dance because we can find the steps ahead and for the routine. We dance until the end of our day. Why ask us why we dance? When we dance to the song we can't make up. Now I notice you're already well on your way to writing your own rave reviews. You'd do them and they'd do you if they could and if you would. The film is over for now, but we can't go home just yet. The man, the lungs, the potatoes, one is dissected on the screen. It all makes more and more sense now. When the man who holds two orbs in his hand captivates your attention, you're supposed to follow the red or green or blue light with your eyes. You know it's supposed to hypnotize, but you can offer nothing but resistance. They dance around a circle that defies logic, living, loving, and eating Chinese. Or is that was that just a mistake? Never. Can't you expect the truth? However unintelligible that is. Can't you expect to get someone all to yourself, trying to find some warmth? Light my fire, you all saying on the corner like alley cats to the Taiwanese kittens, real men purring beside them purring bedside them. You loved every minute of it. Admit it. Watching the sunlight on his fair skin with the rising sun behind. A perfect horizontal type in a vertical position with a mojo to be lead singer of the band. Soulful was his voice and skillful was his hand on the guitar. Your boyfriend goes away and leaves you with Men who fall asleep or make passes at you and pee on your furniture. It binds you to them forevermore. Watch them sleep, but your skin goes a mile deep. You wouldn't believe me if I say you said once, and I believed you. Everybody's gone to sleep except you, and you can't leave everybody alone. You look at your happy for inspiration until you come to find yourself staring at the dry, potted soil of the happy tree in the living room and your strength is tested, but your resolve is strong now. It stays in one piece. You have higher gods in life now. He may piss on your chair when you won't say no. You won't not say no, of course. It's not him by any means. It's not personal, you insist. Besides, think of three beautiful Asian women you've already had just this week. Be glad. I happen to think we're all inexorably linked to death. Drawn there with age, the temptation may clearly present itself, but it is easily resisted, deflected. You know what you want now? Go and get it. Let him get to bed with a lover and forget it. He's flying in the air, waiting for you on the other side of the river. 